Good evening. Thanks for coming to this presentation, especially on a late night as tonight. Um, I've given out handouts for everybody to not only to follow along, but to write your comments and any questions you have. As you can tell, we have to have it videoed, so we'll save the comments till after the presentation and we can turn the filming off. <laughs> The slide shown is a brief presentation over the past three years of accidents that has happened here at Bryce in the Searcy area. Making a living shouldn't have to cost you your life. Workplace fatalities, injuries, and illnesses are preventable. Safe jobs happen because employers make the choice to fulfill their responsibilities and protect their workers. This is the OSHA motto, and Bryce seems to follow along with that. The purpose of the project is very simple. It is to demonstrate our areas of weakness and ways to not only eliminate these from happening, but also from future occurrences. It is to identify the departments that is having the most amount of accidents, types of accidents, as well as whether the current form of prevention of accidents is being effective. Here's the department findings. In the past three years, our accidents have in fact decreased, even with the increase of employees. Yet, accidents are happening. As you can tell by the graph, there are some areas that are needing more improvement. I'd like to implement a stronger and constant way of keeping safety up front and on everyone's mind, not just at the monthly meetings, but on a weekly and day-to-day -day basis. The action plans. The immediate plans are to install a reporting system with checks of weekly meetings and a once-a-month audit, something that's not been done. The future plans are to install cameras and in a year's time see if these changes have improved and if they can be improved upon again. Yellow cards and red cards. This is a way of keeping track of accidents happening and before they happen. This is the start of the checks and balances. This is to see what is being done. Yellow cards. These are used for minor and first-time offenses. It, examples would be an employee not wearing his beard net, forgot his earplugs, anything fairly minor. Not only can managers and a supervisor fill these out, but employees are handy to fill them out as well. Again, yellow cards are just simply a minor offense, first-time offenses. Red cards. Of course, being red, it's a more urgent. These are used to report major serious offenses. Examples would be fire hazards, too many plug-ins into one outlet, forklifts running into doors. That never happens. <laughs> Things that can cause injury or has caused injuries. I know the finance people will want to know the cost. The cost of these impl implications sorry, are actually quite minimal. The cost of the yellow cards and red cards are along these guidelines. We have the card stock available. And at our present supplier, you're running roughly $420 a year on just the card stock and ink. With the receptionist being able to do this and her being the lowest pay scale here at Bryce, it works out. She actually has the time. Our total roughly being what three thousand one hundred fifteen dollars and twenty cents. This is for her to not only make up these cards, distribute them, but that is also her putting them in a company-based website or spreadsheet for that matter. The red cards, on the other hand, I'm sorry, the red, that also includes the red cards. Sorry about. The future endeavors. The future plan is also very simple, yet costly. Cameras. 
I know everyone hates cameras, but it has pro proven in the past that cameras do help eliminate a lot of mishaps. Um, we're looking at an, a possible decrease of 30% of accidents happening in the workplace due to the cameras. The cost of cameras is a little more on the high end side. The cost of the network based cameras have an estimation of $250 per camera. I understand we have more than three plans. I like to do this with the uh, departments that are having the most amount of accidents and spreading out from there, maybe over a five year span, maybe a plant a year. The installation of these cameras are running between 250 sorry, $200 and $600 per camera. The recorder, which has to be a part of the, uh, according to the IT department, is an estimation of $3,000 to $6,000 installation. They told me this was as a bundled group. They're looking into what the bundles are if they are six or 12. As far as viewing the footage can be done by our security officers, which are already viewing camera footages in our corporate office. Another monitor and an extra hour at the, pri at the rate of $18 to $20 an hour. I think uh, we have enough security officers to cover all of that so we will not have to uh, employ another officer. The total of cost. The current estimated cost of the yellow cards and red cards are roughly $4,000. I am rounding this off due to the increase with the beginning of the, of the year. Things usually go up. The total estimated cost of the camera installation, we're looking roughly $35,000. That is per plant. Again, I know that's shocking. And the research I had gathered up on all of this is really quite simple. I've used the Bryce corporation website, OSHA regulations, which that is the link. If you want the flash drive, you can link to it. Accident reports, which were supplied by the human resource management officers and due to the magazines. There was also questionnaires handed out and uh, a long conversation with the IT department and our corporate office. Um, I, pray, I thank you for sitting for this conversation or this presentation, and we can ask questions or comments now that you can turn that off. Done? Done.